Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Let's face some more questions from this chapter. Let me reveal the very first question. What are considered the core RPA components of UiPath platform? Here are your options. UiPath apps, integration service, data service, UiPath apps, so these are the different products, UiPath AI center, integration service, UiPath studio, orchestrator and robots, UiPath AI center, data service and integration service. Now here look at the question, core RPA component of UiPath platform, which are the core products. Now let me know which is the right answer. Please do comment in the comment section of the video, which one for the question number six do you think is the right answer? Take your time. Hope you got the answer. Let me reveal the right answer. The right answer is C. Let's move on to our next question. What is the main difference between Studio and Studio X in UiPath platform? Now here are your options. Studio X is for automation developers and Studio is for business users. Studio X is for business users. Studio is for automation developers, just the opposite of that. Option C, both Studio and Studio X are meant for the same user profile. Option D, Studio X is for building complex automations and Studio is for simple task automation. Now let me know which is the right answer. Please do comment your right answer. So let me reveal the right answer is option B. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you which chapter you have to read. In case your answers are going wrong, I will show you which chapter to focus at the end of the video. Let's see the next question. What is the primary function of a software robot in the UiPath platform? What is the use of a robot? Option A, designing automation workflows, managing the entire ecosystem, running automations built with Studio Family, D, developing machine learning models. This is a quite a simple answer. Please do comment your answer, which one you think for the question number eight, which is the right answer? Write question eight colon and your answer. So here the right answer is C, running automations built with Studio Family. Robot is used to run the automation or to execute the automation, which are built using the UAPA Studio Family. All right, let's move on to the next question. What is the primary role of attended robots in the UiPath platform? Here are your options. Running automations independently without human intervention. Okay. Acting as digital helper for human users and being triggered by human actions or events. Now look at the words. Option C, managing the entire automation ecosystem. Option D, designing complex automation workflows. Now, what is the purpose? What is the primary role? Write your answer, write question nine, colon. What is your answer? A, B, C, or D? Let me reveal the right answer is B. Acting as digital helper for human users, attended robot, and being triggered by human actions or events. Correct? All right. Let's move on to our question number 10. What is the primary role of unattended robot in the UiPath platform? Options are working only during human user hours. B, triggering automations through UiPath assistant. Running automations independently without human intervention. Option D, providing a friendly interface to interact with robots. Now, what is the primary role? Now look at all these options and which one you think is the right answer. Question number 10, which is the right answer? Let me reveal the right answer is C. Now next question, which of the following is a main capability of UiPath orchestrator? Options are designing complex automation workflows, running automation jobs only in attended mode, Monitoring jobs, robots, and storing logs for auditing and analytics. What is the purpose of orchestrator capability of 
orchestrator option d developing machine learning models which one you think is the right answer comment your answer question number 11 colon which is your right answer so here the right answer is option number c now let me show you which topic you have to read go to explore automation development with uapa studio this is the topic and in this you need to read introducing the studio robot orchestrator ecosystem so here you would have all your answer the questions that i have framed if you go through this chapter you will be able to get all the answers thank you for watching let's move on to our next topic